Hey everybody, Jeff Yenser, creativemusicgenius.com. Thanks for watching today. Today I want to talk about why I love power chords so much. They're so cool, they're so versatile. They're like a canvas. You can use all the colors of the scales and modes and riffs to play over top of them. Uh, chords, you can riff chord jams over top of the uh, power chords, right? You can play lots of different sounds over top of a power chord, and it sounds good, right? You can play A sus 2, A sus 4, A minor, right? And the same goes for the modes, right? You can play a major scale or, you know, riff out that for a second. You could go to Lydian, you know, you could play uh, Mixolydian, right? Just, just about anything will sound good over top of a power chord. And you can think about power chords in expanded ways. And it's not just that low down guitar, blah, 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 right? You can play higher up on the fretboard, right? And, and the secret, right? The circle of fifths is like the secret decoder ring, right? For power chords, right? It just gives you the answer, right? <laughs> it's like a cheat sheet. Okay, so you go, right? We're picking A power chord today, right? A power chord, which a lot of times you'll see like in sheet music, it'll be A5, right? In a, in a chord chart, it'll be A5, stands for A power chord, right? The root and the fifth. And so if you look at the circle of fifths, right? You find A, right? And you go just right next to it. One in a clockwise direction, and we've got E. So those are our two notes to the A power chord, A and E, right? You can do this for any power chord that you want, right? The circle of fifths will give you the answer. You just pick your note, you go one clockwise, and that's your other note, <laughs> right? And the guitar actually has a pattern to it, right? If, if you look at most of these, there's a pattern of you play the A, right, the root, and you go down to the next string and up two frets, and there's your E, right? Now it doesn't work everywhere on the, because of the way the B string is, is tuned, right? So that's a little different there, but in the, most of the places, right, it follows this pattern, right? It is so simple to use. And I'm gonna make another video that just gets more into these different um, scales, modes, and the rainbow <laughs> of colors and sounds you can use over top of power chord. And just open up your mind to the possibilities of what if you use your voice to create a power chord, right? And just uh, saying the A and have someone else sing the E, right? And, or, you know, just lots of different creative ideas. Any instrument, right, in any register can play over top, can play the power chord or play over top the power chord, right? Piano, keyboards, all that good stuff, right? Take your um, first finger and go to the D string and put it on the second fret, right? And so you got the, above that, you get the A open string, right? So you get A, and then your finger is on the E note, right? So those two notes will give you your first, as simple as power chord, right? All right, so next, slide your finger up to the fifth fret of that top string, the E string, right? And a very common pattern for power chords, right? Just simply drop down to the next string and go up two frets. Lay down another finger, right? And there's my E, right? So A and E right there, okay? Now it's not everywhere on the guitar, but this pattern shows up in most places, right? So if I go to the seventh fret of the D string, right? And then I drop down to the G string below it and go up two frets, right? There's my E, so I got A and E right there. Now the pattern takes a break right here in the neck because the B string is tuned a little differently, right? So I get A, the second fret of the G string, and E on the fifth fret of the B string. So it's a little, a little further stretch for the fingers right there, okay? And then I get my pattern back as I come up here to the tenth fret of the B string for that A, right? And then E at the octave, yeah! All right, so that gives you your power chord, uh, you know, on all the strings and sets of two, right? So anyways, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to write your own little riff, right? Pick any letter for your power chord, right? Pick whatever letter, D, C, G, F, whatever you like. Pick any letter that's on that uh, circle of fifths, right? And find the power chord on the guitar 
play a little riff and record it somehow and upload it somewhere and send me a link, let me know where it is so I can hear you jamming out to a power chord, right? It's a great blank palette, like I said, right? You can play all kinds of modes, other chords, uh, riffs over top of it. So have fun with it, make a recording, let me know where it is, you know, use the comment section on the creative music website. Give me the like, thumbs up, all that good love. Thanks for watching.